Okay, so in this video, we're going to estimate a GARCH model, a GARCH 1-1 model uh, based on C++ code from Fabrice Rua. Uh, I've left the link uh, to the data that we're going to use. Uh, there's also a fairly intuitive explanation of how the GARCH model is estimated in Excel. So I set out, um, if we take a look here for a moment, uh, there's a playlist that builds up the GARCH model. Okay, so it basically runs through the same data that we have here um, going from January uh, 2000, 3rd of January, all the way to the 30th of December 2005. So this is data that's provided by Fabrice. And um, I work at manually the return on the uh, S&P 500 data. I estimated variance and then I set up the likelihood function in the spreadsheet. And then I op optimize uh, the parameter estimates on the uh, GARCH 1.1 model uh, using solver. So that's an explanation of that is there. It's worth taking a look at. If you understand GARCH already, um, perfect. Uh, then come back to just basically the setup here, how you would run C++ code in the Google Colab. And importantly, what we're going to do is we have the all the functionality spelt out here in terms of the C++ code, but we do have to uh, bring in data Right, and the data we've got to bring in is this S&P 500. It's in a text file, and we're going to have to pull it in from our folder. Now, the di working directory here is in the content folder, just to see that um, we would say um, P uh, PWD. Okay, so exclamation mark PWD, and we'll execute that. <clears throat> and you can see it's bringing us to the content folder. Okay, to get to the content folder, then you can see it's here. Okay, but there's, at the moment, there's nothing in there. There's some sample data, but that's data that's preloaded in. Nothing to do with this project. So we've got to get data, that S&P 500 data in there. Okay, so to get the S&P 500 data, um, I'll bring you to this link. And you can download, right? So if you down, just download here, that data is already sitting in my uh, download folder. Um, and okay, that's fine. Now I'll show you where that is. It's in the download, so I have it here. Okay, so that's fine. Now, how do I get the data then into the content folder? I just come over here and upload from the content folder, from the, should I say, the download where I downloaded the data, that text file, and we just open and it uploads. Okay, and it's only live, the data is only available while we're running the collab. So once we close the collab, we've lost the data, we've got to go through this process again, but it's a, just a few simple steps. Uh, the rest then is for explanation, take a look at the links uh, to how you'd set this specific example up in Excel. I have it here. And then for a much more involved uh, playlist setting out um, how you'd set up um, Garch in Excel, C++ and so on, uh, follow that uh, explanation there, but it's a bit more involved. Okay, uh, only one file here, the main file we have to execute, right, to write in uh, the main CPP. And if we close and open, you'll now see that's appeared here. Right. So if I double click, okay, the file is now, you can see it's over here. Okay, so that's great. And then uh, uh, to output then our results, from here, we just come down here and use this double percentage script bash, so on. And the results that I've obtained here 
are the same as the manual estimation that I set up in um, Excel. Uh, maybe we should take a look at those. Uh, I'll just pause to get that file. Okay, so we can copy the results here. And then I found the Excel file and we can compare the results. So I'll just copy uh, the selection here, go into Excel, uh, have done this before with Xcode online GBD compiler and we can put let's just paste here as well uh, okay so control paste special I guess paste special we'll just say unit text okay so these are the results I obtained but we can compare against the manual estimation I performed in Excel and you can see uh, the Omega value is the same the beta value is the same and we have the beta uh, alpha uh, value 0 0.0745 is the same as the manual estimation here I would have used uh, using um, a solver in in uh, Excel now for an explanation of that manual estimation again the link to that is in the uh, google collab it's here if you come to this uh, youtube clip here the explanation behind the excel manual estimation is there but the results we're obtaining in the excel manual um, using solver uh, optimization is the same result that we have obtained here using um, Fabrice Rua's um, uh, C++ code. Okay, 